Hey, my little Einsteins. Today we're going to talk about the properties of addition. So this means where we have some rules or laws that can help us out with addition. So let's take a look at what we have, all right? So before anything, let's talk about what's an addition sentence. When we have an addition sentence, we have two things. We have the add-ons, which means where we're saying four plus one, those are going to be the add-ons. So it can be more than one, two numbers. It can be seven numbers, five numbers, but all of these are called add-ons. When we put them all together and find the total, that's called sum. So that would be our sum. Remember, in addition sentence, it needs a plus sign and an equal sign. Okay? So let's take a look at what kind of properties we have. Our first one is called associative property. Now, associative property means when we add more than two numbers together, but we change the order. So for example, in this sentence, we have two plus three plus four. Okay, so for example, I have two blue sticks, I have two yellow sticks, and I have four green sticks. Now, these are a lot to add, so I'm gonna group them together. So first, I can do the two plus three, then I'll find, oh, which is five, then I'll add it to the four. Or I can do three plus four, the yellow and the green together first, which is seven, and then I'll add it to the two. So you see how I changed the grouping, but our answers are still the same. They're both gonna be nine. So it doesn't matter which order we do it when we group them together because our sum will still be the same. That's called associative, okay? Let's take a look at the next one. The next one's called commutative property. Now, commutative property means when we can add two numbers, or any of them, and more than one number, I mean, in any order, and the sum will be the same. So, for example, it's called when you switch them. So, for example, if I switch with you, am I going to be the student, and are you going to be the teacher? No. We just change spots. That's it. I will still be the teacher, and you'll still be the student. All we did is just switched. Our numbers are the same. So let's take a look. We have five plus three. So for example, I have five blue sticks, okay? And I have three yellow sticks. If we say five plus three, I can be like, mm, I don't know what that is. But if you can, if you tell me, oh, then what's three plus five? I'll be like, oh yeah, I already know that. That's eight. It's super easy. All we did is switch them. So you see how my numbers are the same. I didn't change the add-ons. The numbers are the same. All we do is switch, okay? So for example, another one can be, what's four plus six? You're like, uh, I don't know. But if I tell you, hey, what's six plus four? And you're like, oh, that's 10, I already know that. So all we did is switch them, that's it. Very easy. Now the last one, I'm not kidding, is the easiest one on the world. It is so easy. This property is the easiest thing. It's called identity zero property. Now this is called when you add any number plus zero, it will always be the number. That's it. So for example, I have three purple sticks, okay? And I have zero in this hand. My total will be three. The zero is nothing. He's very weak. There's nothing. There's nothing in my hand. So I, there's, it's Spanish. It's gone. So our sum will be three. Any number plus zero will always be the other number, even if it's a hundred. What miss? What if it's a million? Even if it's a million, trillion, bazillion, plus zero will always be the other number. Zero is nothing. So any number plus zero will always be the other number. So this is the easiest one. Anytime you see four plus zero, four. If we say it's 10 plus zero, 10. It's so easy. So let's take a look at some examples that we have. So we have these three examples, if you see. And I want you to pause this video and try to answer this on your own. What property would you use in each question? So I want you to stop this and tell me which property you would use, and then we're gonna answer it together. All right, are you ready? So the first one we have 24 plus 65, which equals to 65 plus 24. Hmm, let's think. We have three properties. I can. By looking at it, I know it's not one of them. I know it's not identity. There's no zero. It's easy. So it's not going to be identity. So I have commutative and associative. Okay, so let's take a look. If we switch the order, we switch the numbers, what can that be? 
if you said communicative, you are super smart, man. You little Einstein. It is communicative. All we did is switch. That was it. It's so easy. Okay, so let's take a look at the second one. 35 plus 0 equals 35. Hmm, there's a clue in there that's easy that you should know like that, man. There's a 0, and it's in the property name. It is identity property. If you said identity property, man, you just like that's yourself. Because you're just awesome and smart. It's identity. It's anything plus zero. It will always be the other number. Good job, buddy. I'm so proud of you. So let's take a look at the last one. We have 15 plus 25 plus 16, which is the same as 15 plus 25 plus 16. Now, if you look at it, there's brackets. That's a hint as well. What can that be? I know we switched some of the grouping, but we did not switch the order. The order is still the same, just the grouping is different. So what do you think it is? Work that brain of yours, work the brain of yours. If you said associative, you are super smart. It's associative. We added the 25 and 16 first, then we added the 15. Well, you can do 15 plus 25 first, then add 16. So both ways are the same, or some will be the same. It's just in a different Ruby, you guys are super smart. I am so proud of you. If you have any questions, please email your teacher. Thank you.